Welcome back to the final video in the series on how to relieve IT stress and do more with less by implementing automation in your existing environment. My name is Paul Texander, Senior Sales Engineer at RES Software. This final video will explain how to move from a rationalized IT infrastructure to a dynamic IT infrastructure by delegating tasks back into the organization. Self-service or service orchestration will enable you to further delegate control on when changes are being made. While the responsibility of when changes are being made are in the hands of the organization, IT is still in control on how these changes are being made. This will offload help desk and free resources while delivering a better overall service. So let's move over to the administrator's desktop and start the RES service orchestration console. We will first of all create a new service. We will give the service a name, change mobile phone number. Everybody will qualify for this service, so everybody uh, in the organization will be able to request uh, a change of their mobile phone number. The workflow will be started when qualified people request the service. First of all, we will add the runbook we previously created, change mobile number runbook, and we were going to auto create the runbook parameters. To be able to identify the user, we will use the email address as the people identifier in this service. Now we will add a uh, provide information task. So the subscriber of the service, the one requesting the service, will have to provide some information. So we will change this, so please type in your mobile phone number and the service attribute is to type in is the telephone's mobile parameter. When this has been done, we are going to send a message to the subscriber of the service telling them that the service has been delivered and the mobile phone number has been updated in Active Directory. And we're going to do an automatic refresh of the user's workspace. The return of the service, so the service will be returned as soon as the service has been delivered, so that they can change the phone, mobile phone number once again. Now we've created the service, so let's move over to the user's desktop. Launch the uh, orchestration client. Look at the available services, and there's one available service, change my mobile phone number. So we're going to request that service. There's one new pending action where the service wants me to provide the new mobile phone number. When I click OK, the run book will be executed in the background in the data center without any IT interaction. You see that my workspace is being re refreshed and I got a new message telling me that the mobile phone number has been changed. So let's close Outlook. Start Outlook again. Create a new email and you will see that the mobile phone number has been changed. This video series showed how RES Automation Manager helps you further offload tasks from IT and free up even more resources. The organization decides when changes need to be made and IT controls how the changes are being implemented. Looking back, you might notice that the RES Automation Manager maturity model 
fits nicely with the Microsoft infrastructure optimization model. Moving from a basic to a standardized IT by automating daily IT tasks. You move from a standardized to a rationalized IT by provisioning resources. And finally, you move from a rationalized to a dynamic IT by implementing self-service and service orchestration. This concludes the video series on how to relieve IT stress and do more with less by implementing automation. Thank you for watching and goodbye.